If you're using an instant static mesh component, you probably already know that if you change the color on the material, it applies it to all the instances. But what if it was possible to change the color only on specific instances and not all of them at once? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you today. So this is the current project that I have, it's pretty simple, I have a pretty empty scene with a simple blueprint in it. This blueprint contains an instant static mesh component and a list of transforms that I'm using to spawn my instances in the level. For the mesh that I'm using, it's this one right here, so it's a simple chicken mesh. And for the material, it's a simple material which simply uses a color and pass it into the emissive color of my material which is translucent, unlit, and it is usable with instant static meshes. And finally, if we go in the blueprint itself, in the construction script, I'm simply updating all my instances based on the transform list. And that's it. The first step to be able to assign colors to specific instances is to modify the material a little bit. So let's open it. Here, instead of passing directly the color to the emissive color of my material, I'm going to modify it that way. By combining the nodes per instance custom data and vertex interpolator, we'll be able to assign parameter values to specific instances. Right now we need a tree value because we want to have one for the red, the green, and the blue. And since it's not possible to name them the same way we did for the color right here for the parameter, it's not possible to give a name to those variables. So instead we have to give them an index and remember what they do. So here I have my index zero for the red channel, index one for the green and index two for the blue. And to assign those indexes, we have to select the node and go on the left right here. My first node is index zero, my second node is index one, and the third one is index two. And that's it, that's all we have to change in the material. The second step is to tell our instance static mesh component to use those parameters. And to do that, we're gonna go inside the blueprint that contains the instance static mesh component. And then we can select it. Then we can go on the right, and here in the instances category, we can expand the advanced menu, and there's a variable named num custom data floats. And right now, since we are using three parameters in our material, we're gonna write three right here. And the last step is to specify which color we wanna use. So I'm gonna go in my construction script where I'm adding my instances. So right here, I'm adding my instances. And after adding my instance, I'm going to call the function setCustomDataValue, passing it the index of the instances that we just created. And actually, since it's only possible to pass one custom data at a time to the material, we are going to call this function three times, just like that. And then we have to indicate which parameter we want to set. So I have the parameter index 0 for my red right here, parameter index 1 for my green, and parameter index 2 for my blue. And finally, the last thing we have to do is to set the value to the variable in the material. And in this case, I'm simply using a random float for my R, G, and B, just to be able to test it. And that's it, I should now be able to compile my blueprint and go in my level to see all my random colors on my chickens. And if I move my blueprint in the level, it should re-randomize all the colors. And now, just to make it more interesting, I went back in my blueprint and created a new list, a list of colors this time. And I made sure that this array has the same amount of elements as my transform list right here. So they both have 12 elements in them. Then, when I'm spawning my instances, I'm picking from my list of color using the index of my instance list, which I then break to have access to the red, green, and blue independently, which I use to set the colors on my chickens. And now if I go back in my level, it looks something like this. On the right, I have access to all my colors and I can directly change them in the editor like so. And you don't always have to add the colors right when you're adding the instances, you can do it whenever you want. And this is what I'm doing right now. So I created a new function, which I named apply random color, and I made sure to make it callable in editor with the checkbox in the top right corner. Then I'm looping through all my instances of my static mesh component, and for each of them, I'm getting a random color from my color list. Then I'm breaking the color to assign the red, green, and blue value to my material. But there's one difference right here. I check the mark dirty checkbox on the last set custom data value that I'm doing, otherwise the material might not refresh properly. Then I can compile and go test it in the level. On the right right here I have a new button which has the name of my function because it's callable in editor and if I click on it I can see that all my chickens are assigned the new random color from my color list. Okay, just to recap we're going to quickly add a new parameter to our material that we can modify per instance. And the new parameter I decided to add is the opacity, so I created a new per instance custom data node, which on the left right here I set the index to 3, because we already used the index 0, 1, and 2 for the color, so we're gonna use the index 3 for the opacity. And I also set the default value to be 1, so my objects are visible by default. Then in our component we have to indicate that we want to use 4 custom data floats right here on the right, 
And the last step is to call the set custom data value function, passing it the custom data index 3 for the opacity. And for the value, we can either use the alpha of our color, or in this case, I'm just gonna use the random float right here. And now if I go back in my level and call my function, we can see that the opacity also varies from one instance to the other. And that's everything I wanted to show you today, so I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye!